Thank you very much, uh, Representative Sykes and uh, Representative Reese. Thank you very much for your work in the Ohio House and certainly with the Ohio Legislative Black Caucus. Uh, we shall not return to the past. Our preamble to our Constitution says, we the people of the state of Ohio, grateful to Almighty God for our freedom to secure its blessings and promote our common welfare, do establish the Constitution. Article 1, Section 1, inalienable rights. All men are, by nature, free and independent and have certain inalienable rights, among which are those of enjoying and defending life and liberty, acquiring, possessing, and protecting property, and seeking and obtaining happiness and freedom, happiness and safety. We have Article 1, Section 6, slavery and involuntary servitude. There shall be no slavery in this state, nor involuntary servitude, comma, unless for the punishment of crime. We want to remove those last six words, unless for the punishment of crime. The reason, as my colleague Representative Sykes shared, is because we still do not want slavery and we do not want involuntary servitude. Servitude, punishment for a crime is totally different. But we have people today who are being incarcerated in our jails because they're poor, because their children cannot pay fines. That's involuntary servitude. Simply because they're poor and they can't pay a fine. That's not what we want in the state of Ohio. Disproportionately, African Americans and Latinos are poor. So who's going to be the involuntary servants because they don't have the resources to pay a fine. So we want those six words removed, unless for the punishment of crime. So the statement would read, there shall be no slavery in the state, nor involuntary servitude. That would be the final sentence in that article and section of the state constitution. As the co-chair of the Ohio Constitutional Modernization Commission, I will continue to work with Representative Sykes and the other members of the commission to make sure these six words are removed. I will continue to work with our Ohio Legislative Black Caucus and certainly Senator Brown, Senator Thomas, Senator Williams, and our Ohio Senate Democratic Caucus, where I serve as the assistant Democratic leader. My colleague, uh, Senator Brown, serves as the uh, Democratic whip. We'll make sure that we fight long and hard for these, along with our brothers and sisters with the Ohio Legislative Black Caucus. And I thank our president for uh, sending this message out and working with the Ohio NAACP to make sure that we get this resolved.